Hi, so I'm Jan Amund. I'm a professor of geochemistry and microbiology at the University of Southern California. And my role here on the Invader team is as part of the science team. And um, what we're really interested in is looking at the, the microbiology, the geochemistry, the mineralogy, um, in connection with getting the samples from the, the instrument, the Invader instrument. Um, we're going to be taking samples from hydrothermal systems, from hydrothermal vents, and you know, you've probably seen this before in part of this, th this discussion here. Fluids are coming up from below and um, in some cases escaping out the top, but also, of course, fluids will be collecting within the chimney itself. So what we want to do is get samples of the rocks in different parts of the system, but also get samples of these fluids, both internally to the um, chimney structure and what's coming out at the top. Once we have the samples, so the rock samples, the fluid samples, there's a number of things we can do. And for, again, for my part of it is um, that we want to do the microbiology. That entails several things. Uh, we want to extract DNA and RNA, so nucleic acids, which then can be sequenced to tell us about the microbial communities um, within those samples. But we're also interested in growing the organisms themselves. So we would take these fluid samples and these rock samples and um, take them into the laboratory and incubate them at different temperatures, different conditions, and see which organisms might grow. Hopefully finding organisms that have not been seen before that do really interesting things that we can tie back into the natural system. All of these organisms require energy sources, and that's again where we go back to the samples here, the, the fluid chemistry. Um, you know, so really analyzing the fluids from a chemical standpoint, understanding um, the concentrations of some important compounds, especially redox active things like oxygen, nitrate, organic compounds, sulfate, um, anything that, that is, is um, capable for gaining or losing electrons, in other words, doing electron transfer chemistry. In all of life, that's microorganisms all the way up to, to, to humans, does basically electron chemistry to get energy. Same thing here. So we're looking to study the chemistry of the fluids, but also the chemistry of the rocks. So minerals can also be redox sensitive, redox active. So we want to just determine through thermodynamics um, the disequilibrium state of the system, um, the disequilibrium state of the redox active compounds, minerals, aqueous species, as well as dissolved gases in the fluids. So once we have the chemistry, we can then calculate how much energy is available for the potential microorganisms in these systems and what types of uh, reactions, what types of redox reactions might be supporting life. So that's my part of the project, um, and let's end it there.